Hello Aquarius! I am here to provide insight and guidance for you guys for the month of July 2019. So this is going to apply to your sun, moon, or rising. And if you have Aquarius and other parts of your birth chart, it could um, this reading could resonate as well. Um, if it doesn't resonate, I really encourage you to take a look at my other readings um, and see how um, the other zodiac signs may resonate. Uh, but of course, you have to know um, what other zodiac influences you have in your chart. Okay, so uh, check that out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so um, Aquarius, it seems like you guys are going through a karmic cycle. Okay, there's a karmic cycle taking place in, in, in July for you. Um, or it's just an opportunity that's presented itself, an opportunity for expansion, an opportunity for growth. Um, I'm seeing here this the death card. Okay, so there's something that needs to end. Um, in order for a new beginning to take place, in order for energy to flow again. Um, I'm seeing this, this is a Scorpio, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, or you could have Sagittarius or Scorpio on your chart, okay? Or the person you're deal dealing with could have this energy. Um, I'm also, for some reason when I was looking at the Scorpio card, I was here in Taurus, because we have the Hierophant here, there's a Hierophant right here, standing in front of the horse, okay? So you could be dealing with a Taurus as well, okay? But it seems like this Taurus is like pleading for you not to go. <laughs> They're like pleading for you not to leave or this person is pleading for you not to leave, but you're you're really set on leaving. Um, you're really set on a new beginning as well. Um, and I feel like you're trying to run this person over, <laughs> It's the energy of that for some of you, not all of you, but it's the energy of you. You are you are pushing for this change, and it's like Jupiter is expanding so much. It's like you have no choice but to um, expand, or you're going to explode. You know, so it's like the energy is very it's 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 great. Okay, the energy is um, very great here. Okay, so I see that you're wanting a change. You're wanting an ending to take place. Um, it could be that you're wanting an ending with this uh, Scorpio person or the Scorpio person is um, the Scorpio person uh, could could want to be with you. OK, that's for some of you. Um, they're not wanting it to end. OK, or you're not wanting it to end with the Scorpio person. Um, but I see that either way, the energy is going to start flowing again um, because we have the eight of wands here so you could be dealing with the fire sign leo sagittarius or aries or have this in your chart okay or this could represent you aquarius since your opposite sign is leo okay so it's like you're wanting an outlet you're wanting to, you're wanting energy to flow again okay this could also be an indication for you to um allow this change to happen allow this death this ending to happen so energy can continue to flow again so you can direct your energy on what matters okay and um you could be trying to direct your energy towards like a father figure. So I don't know. Well, I can't say I don't know, but <laughs> uh, Aquarius, you could be trying to take care of a father figure. OK, you could be trying to care for a father figure and you have all of this um, distraction. You know, you have some things going on um, that's no longer serving you or your situation is it's stopping you from caring for a father figure. OK. Or even a mother figure. Okay, that's for some of you. All right. Um, so, yeah, there's an ending that definitely needs to take place. And I feel like it has something to do with your emotions. Uh, your emotions, Aquarius. And it's crazy because it's like Scorpio energy. It's like very strong Scorpio energy because at the center of the reading we have uh the queen of cups here okay queen of cups can represent cancer pisces or scorpio but then underneath we have the tower card the tower representing um scorpio or representing a um aries person so it, it seems as though you're wanting um an, an ending to take place in regards to this um in regards to this person okay you're wanting an ending or you're wanting change transformation to take place okay um, I'm also seeing this as, you know, your emotions, Aquarius. So there's a need for you to really focus on your emotions for the month of July. Um, figure, figure out if you've been having like some 
blow ups or imbalances try to figure out why this is happening and also maybe a call for you to you know seek professional help too that's for some of you not all of you okay but there's something with the emotions that needs to be changed you could feel as though your emotions are not being met by this scorpio person or scorpio energy it could feel as though um they're very um like restrictive or um i won't say so much secretive but just restrictive within their emotions but it's a call for you to stand your ground um a lot is going to be happening for you in the month of um july it seems like you guys are going to be also relocating as well moving um it could be physical movement or energetically there's going to be some movement but it's a call for you to really stand your ground um this is my mark is it mercury and no this is mercury and sagittarius so you could be dealing with someone with a mercury and sagittarius or a moon and sagittarius okay but it's a call for you to really stand your ground and put your needs and desires first okay um you could be dealing with an aries person someone that comes off as very controlling okay and you feel as though maybe uh, a little restricted when i saw this nine of wands it, it reminded me of a fence so it's like an energy of you being fenced in by this Aries person or this emperor type energy. It's like you're fenced in, either fenced in physically or fit fenced in spiritually. It's like there's no outlet for you. There's like some restriction. So um, it's like, and I'm hearing like you're holding on for dear life. You're, you're trying to, um, it's like you're trying to, it's like your emotions is all you have. You're holding on to that cup, all that you do have. Okay, if that makes sense. It's like despite what you're it's like despite what you're going through, um, the restrictive energy that you're experiencing, it's like you're still holding on to your like your livelihood, your your emotions. I don't I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but um you're holding on to what you have, okay? Um you could also be very restrictive to this person, um, this um Aries person. It could be that you are very um um, you have some walls up, okay? You have some walls up and you're being very um, restrictive with this Aries person. And it seems like this Aries person just wants the communication to flow. They want you to be very honest with them. They want to reconcile. They just want things to get back on track so you guys can move forward. They also want some change in regards to how you're responding with your emotions and how you're, um, how you're behaving because it could be very um, impulsive. It's like an impulsive energy okay and if this is not you being very impulsive with the emotions it's this person that's very impulsive with the emotions and it makes you feel as though you need to get away you need to be done okay so the the impulsive energy is it's 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 um it's bothering you okay some of you aquarius okay um i'm also seeing that you you guys are wanting to move forward with a air sign person or a water sign person, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, you're wanting to move forward with them, but change has to happen because we have the tower card right in the center. Okay, so um, if it's not a romantic relationship, it could definitely be um, a partnership, like you know, career or things like that. So there's there's definitely there needs to be some change. Okay, um, also if 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 it's a desire for change. If it's not a desire for change, it's change actually happening, okay? It's change actually happening. And this change is going to leave you uh, feeling as though, okay, this is this is great. Some of you are going to feel really good about this. And you're going to feel as though you can move on emotionally. You're not going to have that stagnant type of energy anymore, okay? Or, or conflicting energy anymore. Um, what else am I seeing here? Um, also Aquarius, this is an opportunity for you guys to grow, um, financially, um, uh, also, uh, grow in, with your wisdom. Okay. Um, and it's, uh, it, it seems the, the emotions, it's really highlighted here. The emotion, there's something with the emotions that you're going to have to balance out, um, balance out, um, how you cope. Okay. Find out how you're coping. Okay. Find out how you're coping. If you're coping by drinking, or by using substance or anything like that, um, it's not going to help you at all. It's just going to make things a little bit more um, difficult.
difficult, you're still going to have that wall up, okay? Um, you're not creating an outlet for yourself by coping the way you're coping. And uh, it's like the universe is trying to tell you whatever, whatever way, you, however you've been coping, it has to end. There has to be um, an ending, okay? The way you've been coping, the way you've been responding emotionally, there has to be an end to that. Um, but it's an opportunity to expand and grow. There's definitely an opportunity to expand and grow. It's just if you're going to um, heat the call, okay? Because like I mentioned, there's a karmic cycle happening. It seems like this situation that's taking place has happened before. And so the universe is trying to see how you're going to respond to it, okay? And it also can mean just things spinning out of control, you know, things just kind of spinning out of control. And it's a call for you to um, maintain your center and keep your emotions in check, okay? Take back control over your life, okay? This could be a call for you to tap into that emperor energy and break down any barriers that is keeping you restricted, that's keeping you stuck, okay? That's keeping you on a destructive path, all right? Um... But mentally, you guys are going to be focused on trying to direct your energy, trying to direct um, your energy towards what matters. OK, it's like freedom. Your, your mind and your mind is on freedom. You're wanting a sense of freedom. You want you're wanting things to move um, to move smoothly again and swiftly. You're wanting things to just um, move. Basically, for some of you, you could have a lot of anxiety. And so it's a call for you to really address that, find out why you're having this anxiety. I feel like it has something to do with your mind and your emotions. So really take a look at that. Okay. And like I said, don't be afraid to go and see a counselor. Okay. Do not be afraid to see the counselor um, or some or someone that you trust, someone you can talk to. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing here? Um, um, yeah, but emotionally wise, you guys are going to be moving forward. I feel like you're going to um, be moving from a difficult time. Um, you may have felt very restricted. You may have felt tired and wounded. And I feel as though you guys are going to be overcoming that. You guys are going to be overcoming that. But it's going to take the effort, okay? It's going to take your dedication and your effort um, to come out of this. Um, but change is definitely happening and it's like you can't move away from it. It's definitely going to happen. It's going to happen whether you like it or not. Um, but just, I mean, it's nothing to be afraid of. It's just this is something that an ending needs to, an ending has to take place in order for a new beginning um, to present itself. Okay. And I feel like once this happens, it's like energy is going to start moving again. You're going to have like some mental clarity. It's like your spirit. You're going to feel one with your spirit. Okay. You're going to have... Um, it's like your inner child, okay, is going to be reborn, okay? It's going to be a sense of freedom. You're definitely going to have a sense of freedom for sure, okay? Um, what else am I getting from this? Um, is there anything else I'm getting from this? I don't know if I am. Um... But there's definitely an opportunity for growth, despite this tower card being here. Okay, that's an opportunity to rebuild again. There definitely is. Okay. It's like the tower happens, but as an emperor, you can rebuild it again. Okay. You can definitely rebuild. Okay, that's how we're doing with time. Okay, but yeah, at the heart of the reading, it's the uh, Queen of Cups. So really tap into that Queen of Cups energy. Use your intuition, okay? Um, be emotionally mature as well, okay? Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. Let's see what you can expect going forward, Aquarius. What can Aquarius expect going forward in July 2019? What can Aquarius expect going forward? What can they expect going forward? What do they need to be aware of going forward? Excuse me. What do they need to be aware of going forward? And I'm, I don't know why I heard this, but misery. I heard misery loves company. Okay, so I don't know. Misery loves company. That's what I heard. So you guys know what that means. Okay, so we have the Four of Coins. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Okay, this is my um, Capricorn card. 
So you could have Capricorn in your in your chart. So um, going forward, this, there's a need for you to, um, let me see here. So we have a number four here, okay? So it's all about control. It's all about security. So going forward, it's a call for you to really seek this control and security. Not to be confused with controlling other people, but you need to have control over your life, over your domain, okay? Um, also, for some of you, um, it could be that you are not expressing yourself. You're not really coming out and expressing how you truly feel. So it's a call for you to let down your guard, okay and express exactly how it is that you feel what your desires are okay um but i feel also that there there could be some support coming in for you um as you move forward if you're trying to um get support from someone um it could be even financially you will have you could you can definitely have the support from others um, but i really feel like this is just um taking back control over your life and over your foundation Okay, cultivating some stability into your life, and also it's a call to let down your um, your guard a little bit. Not necessarily your guard, but just be more open to what it is that you want. Express it, okay? Because it seems like your emotions, your 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 emotions are suppressed a bit. Okay. Next card is the Hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or you could have Virgo in your chart. So it's introspection. It's a call for you to, uh, to um, have some introspection. Take a look within yourself. Um, do some soul searching. I also see this as um, taking some time out. Okay. Um, solitude, you know, going within, getting away from people. Maybe a call for you to spend some time in nature and uh, spend some time with animals if you have some animals here. Okay. But it's a call for you to take some time out, a time for respite to really heal your mind, body, and spirit, to really do some soul searching as well. Okay. Also, it could be that you could, um, you may need to talk to someone that's very wise, a wise person that can help you through your, um, your situation. Okay. Um, and this is two number nines here. So we have the nine of wands here. Okay, it's about perseverance, um, um, fighting for what you believe in despite being wounded and beat up. Okay, so um, I really feel it's like you need to continue, continue to do the self work, continue to work on yourself. Okay, don't give up on yourself. Okay, or it could be a call for you not to give up on a Virgo person. Okay, just really depends on your situation. Last card here is the Leo, okay? This is your opposite sign, Aquarius. So the strength card. So it's really important for you to maintain your strength, to have strength. This is two number eights here. So we have the um, eight of wands and we have the strength card. So really direct your energy towards strength. Direct your energy towards, um, you know, taming that inner beast within you. This, this inner beast, okay, it's, it's showing, it's like a lion, but this could be your inner beast. It can be your ego, okay? So if you have been operating from your ego and you have been operating from anger, it's a call for you to really tame that and to um, try your best not to um, um, be on that vibration, okay? It could be that you're trying to, um, you're trying your best to control this. The control this anger, okay? But overall, it's, it's a call for you to maintain your strength, to have strength despite what you, you're going through, okay? Have strength. Um, anything else I'm getting from this? Okay. Uh, it also can mean that you're trying, you could be trying to tame a Leo, you know, somebody that has Leo in their chart or is a Leo. You could be trying to tame them, but you can't tame anyone. You have you only have control over yourself, okay? All right, so last card here is Dignity. Woo, Dignity, Aquarius, Dignity. So it says, take pride in yourself and all that you have become. Feel honored by your choices, achievements, and actions. I love this, okay? So you heard it first, Aquarius. All right, take pride in yourself, and it's really important you take pride in yourself. This, um, oops. This um, Queen of Cups takes pride in herself, okay? And all that she has become. And she feels honored by her choices, okay? So understand that you can make the right uh, choices for yourself. Pick this up. 
You can make the right cho uh, choices for yourself, but it's all about how you approach it. It's all about how you do it, okay? So that's going to conclude the reading for Aquarius. I hope you guys liked it. If you would like to book a reading with me, um, feel free to send me an email. I will put it in the description box below. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the month, and God bless.